Hi, welcome once again to this series on strength of materials and to this channel again, making life easier. Today we'll be looking at how to determine the normal stresses in wedded rods, example three. Kindly subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to leave your comments and suggestions at the comment section also. Let us look at our question for today and how to solve such kind of problems. Good. Two solid Cylindrical rods A, B, and B, C are welded together at B and loaded as shown. If D1 is equal to 2 inches and D2 is equal to 3 inches, find the average normal stress at the mid section of road A, B, and road B, C. So, this is our diagram. Let us look at how to solve the question. Good. Let's go through how to solve this problem. Good. What we need to do, we are told to find the normal stresses at the midpoint of AB, which is at this session, and then at BC, mid section of BC, which is at this session. And you can see that the two sessions have different diameters. And the forces which are applied at the sessions are also different. Therefore, the stresses in each of the sessions will be different. Therefore, first of all, let's take from A to B. The main section of A to B will be at this side. So we will cut through this section and we will draw our free body diagram like that. The force is going this direction. To so every action, there is equal and opposite reaction. So we have nine tips. And over here, we also have the force in member AB. So from here, writing our equilibrium equations, we can see that FAB minus, if we are going to the right, this direction is positive, right is positive. If you are moving to the left, it's negative. So we can see that FAB minus nine tips is equal to zero. So from there, we can see that FAB is equal to nine tips. Now this tips is a unit in the US customary system. Is a unit in the US system. And one, one case is equal to one case is equal to 1,000 pounds. It's equal to 1,000 pounds. Good. So it's, it's the tip there is referring to our force in the system. Good. Having said that, we know that the stress in AB is will be equal to the force or the load in AB over the area. And we know that area is equal to I D square on four or pi r squared. Therefore, we can see that the diameter from A to B is uniform. The diameter is, we were told from the question that the diameters are two inches for AB. So we have two inches. The diameter for AB is equal to two inches. And the diameter for BC we do that it is equivalent to 
three inches, three inches. Therefore, our area, our area will be equal to 3.142 times two inches square, which is a diameter all over four. And from here, our area will be equal to 3.142 inch square. Once you have been able to do that, then we should be able to determine our stress in member AB. So we can say that the stress in AB will be equal to will be equal to the force, which we know that is nine hips over the area, which is three point one four two inches. So from here, our stress is going to be 2.86 KSI, where this KSI is that kilopounds, kilopounds per square inch, per square inch. So once again, that is US customary system of measurement. Now we can move from there to road BC since you have been able to determine the stress in road AB. So let's consider road BC at the midpoint. What is the stress, the normal stress at the midpoint? So we said that we are also going to cut through this section, which is the midpoint of BC, and we draw a free body diagram for this side from this point to that point. Therefore, our free body diagram is going to look like this. We have our smaller diameter here. And then we know that some forces are applied at this side. So this is the bigger diameter. And we have a force here, which is nine tips. And we have another force in this direction, which is 12 hips. We have another force going this direction, it is also 12 hips. And to every action, there is equal and opposite reaction. Therefore, our opposite reaction will be going this direction, which will give us FBC. From equilibrium conditions, don't forget that we have stated that if we are moving to the right, it will be positive. If the force is moving to the left, it will be negative. So from here, we can see that FBC, which is moving to the right, is positive. Because it's moving to the right, positive. Minus this nine hips is moving to the left, so it's going to be negative. And this 12 is moving to the right, it's going to be positive. This 12 is also moving to the right, it's going to be positive, it's equal to zero. From here, we can see that FBC is equal to negative 24 plus 9. And our FBC will be equal to negative 15 hips. And when the force is negative, it means that it is we are going to get compressive stress. A compressive stress. Compressive stress. Good. So it means that the force in BC is compressive. And from here, we can say that stress in AB is equal to FBC over area of BC. And we already know that the diameter of BC is equal to 3 inches. Therefore, we can get our area by putting in our formula pi d square on four. And from here, L will be equal to 3.142 times D, which is three square all over four. And from here, A will be equal to, A will be equal to 7.0695 inch square. And from here, 
our stress in BC will be equal to our force is negative. So we still keep it negative 15 over 7.0695. And from there, our stress in BC will be equal to negative 2.12 KSI, kilopounds per square inch. If it is negative, then it means that the stress there is compressive or the forces there were compressive. So this is compressive stress. And if it is positive, then it means that it is tensile. They also take notice of that. It was quite easy. And I believe we have all understood the concepts. However, if you have any challenge or any and you don't understand concerning what you have done, you can kindly let us know. Or if there is any suggestion or any contributions, they are warmly welcome. And once again, we want to thank you so much for keeping in touch with us and staying with us up to this time. We want to say a big thank you to you Remember to kindly subscribe, you like, you share, leave comments and suggestions, and also hit the notification bell. We will end here today. We will meet again in our next video. Until then, bye bye.